Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Lieutenant Everett, thank you very much for, for being here today. Sure, good to be here. I know that uh, your unit actually just helped a local police agency solve a burglary that occurred in their jurisdiction, but the bad thing was is the perpetrators were living in our county. That's right. And this is something that all of our residents fear all the time with the home invasions, with the burglaries, with the bad guys. And obviously you guys had a great partnership with an allied agency and kind of uh, fill me in on what happened. Yeah, okay. Last uh, Friday, um, the 23rd, March 23rd, we were contacted by our jurisdiction of Newcastle County uh, Delaware Police Department. Um, they had a burglary that occurred up in their jurisdiction on March 22nd, the day before. And they had some information. They found an old address. And they thought the person that was responsible for that crime was actually residing in our jurisdiction. Um, so we sent one of our patrol units up there uh, to this house on Warwick Drive up in Chester Harbor, north end of the county. And we were able to locate the suspect they were looking for um, there, Christopher Edler. Um, they uh, were applying for charges for him. We filed a fugitive warrant and held them for them. But also it was interesting, we were able to take and make contact with another person at the house, Amara Smith. And uh, she was actually involved in that crime as well. We were able to do some corresponding with Newcastle County PD. They were able to uh, obtain charges on her. We filed a fugitive warrant on her, on her as well. And we also executed a search and seizure warrant of the house. Um, in that we recovered evidence from that crime in Delaware. And the best thing about it, what we like about it, is we got those people out of our jurisdiction that were responsible for that serious crime in Delaware hopefully averting another serious crime that would have been committed in our jurisdiction. I'll tell you, I was here on that day and I saw the detectives from the Newcastle County Police Department walking around our building and working hand in hand with our detectives. And that's just a true example of the partnerships that we've created in the past several years. And uh, again, I want to really applaud you and your unit for doing such a great job as well as the support of Newcastle and the support of the community. We call it building bridges. You know, Delaware is so close to the north end of our county where we're constantly uh, going back and forth with those uh, departments over there and uh, we like to we like to work with them as close as we can. Prime example that the bad guys don't know boundaries. The bad yeah, guys not. just they're not going to stop at the Delaware line. They're going to come into our county and absolutely it was Newcastle County uh, burglary unit uh, Newcastle County PD and we always have a problem sometimes up north of burglaries as well. Um, we're, we're glad to be working with them. Great well excellent job. I really yeah, appreciate it. Uh, give, you know. give, uh, yeah, give your unit my own. Um, Appreciation from the entire community. Certainly will. Thank you, right. sir. Appreciate it. One of our captures had the help of a bonds person bring them in. Andrew John Harms. He was wanted on a failing to appear charge on a DWI case from 2011. He was profiled several weeks ago on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. He turned himself into our lobby on March 21st, 2012, this year. Douglas Ray Jarman. Mr. Jarman is wanted on a failing to appear charge from April 2010. This charge stems from non-support. He's an African American male. He's 40 years old. He's approximately five foot seven inches tall and weighs about 160 pounds. His last known address and information we have is that he may be in the Frederick, Maryland area. Daniel Anthony Vernot. Mr. Vernot has been wanted since 2009. He's wanted on a violation of probation charge for a DWI conviction, and he failed to appear on an assault charge. He was living in Chestertown in the Wharton area. He's six foot, about 175. He has brown hair and blue eyes. He's originally from the Pennsylvania area. This guy has an alias, Paul Goodwin Edwards. Maxwell Lynn Jordan. Mr. Jordan is wanted on a failure to pay a deferred payment from a 2008 malicious destruction of property conviction. He's a 31 year old white male. He's six foot one inches tall and weighs about 264 pounds. He has red hair and brown eyes. He has pierced ears and a pierced eyebrow. His last known address was 716 Marsh Street in Greensboro, North Carolina. Scott Alden Ebling. Mr. Ebling is wanted on a failing to appear charge for a DWI. 
He's five foot, nine inches tall, weighs about 180 pounds. He's a white male. He will turn 49 this year on April the 26th. He has hazel eyes. Mug shots that we have indicate that he's bald. He works as an IT specialist. He wears glasses at times and has pierced ears. If you've seen Scott Allen Bald Scratch, if you've seen Scott Allen Ebling, please contact our office as soon as possible. Kelly Ann Boone. Miss Boone just turned 43 on March 25th. She's a white female. She's five foot one and weighs about 115 pounds. She has brown hair, green eyes. She's wanted on a failing to appear charge for a controlled dangerous substance. Rumor is, is that she lived in the Churchill, Maryland area. Donald Lee Nowland. Mr. Nowland is a 43 year old white male. He's wanted on a 2004 circuit court body attachment for contempt of court. This warrant is for a non-support issue. He's five foot nine inches tall. He weighs about 155 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He has tattoos, very distinct tattoos. He has Donald on his left arm and he has a snake on his right shoulder. He's lived in the Hollingsworth Manor area in Elkton. Previous addresses include Cecil County. We still believe he's in the Cecil County, Maryland area. If you've seen Donald Lee Nowland, please contact our office or authorities as soon as possible. I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers on QAC TV, the viewers on our webpage, and also the viewers on YouTube. It's community members like you that make a difference in helping us keep Queen Anne's County much safer. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.